Hey everybody, Jim Haas, Regional Sales Manager with Blaze. Today I'm going to show you how to put together a Knockdown IJ. It's one of our newer insulated jackets. Uh, they pack flat so we can ship more of them. Uh, you're basically going to have four panels when you pull them out of the box. The fun part is taking off that laser film protective coating. But once you do that, basically you're going to have four panels looking like this. And you just, if you can, on a countertop or a edge of a table, you want to get them laid out. And I'm going to show you how to put these together now. All right, so we want to start with this lower panel, the biggest panel that you've got. And this is the back side, so you're going to see the gap where the manifold and the hose and regulator come out of the back of the grill. So that is the underneath side back of the grill. You want to lay this down, upside down. Put the back panel on first, and if you can hang over a, a countertop or a table, much like you see here, uh, it's going to make life a little bit easier putting these things together. Uh, the hardware pack will come with all the screws you need. And hand tighten at first, just kind of get everything in place. Um, and again, the easiest thing to do is start with this, this back panel. And then once everything is kind of there, Still don't want to tighten it down all the way, much like assembling a cart. If you watched my cart assembly video, just get everything kind of together but loose. And then once everything is together and lined up um, and the side panels are on, then we'll tighten her all up. All right, so once the back panel is on, you want to flip it over upright and start with one side or the other. Um, and these will line up uh, from the sides. Um, you kind of got to look underneath this lip and get the holes lined up just right. And again, kind of just hand tightening everything to get, get it started. Uh, might as well mention, why would you need an insulated jacket? Uh, this really is to protect anything that is combustible from the countertop down in a built-in application. So if you've got a grill that's going in a custom barbecue island or even a prefab barbecue island, if it's something that's framed with anything combustible, it usually is going to be wood. Um, you need to have an insulated jacket. This is going to give you your barrier between the grill and that combustible material. And again, this protects from the countertop down. This does not uh, protect against any combustible materials to the front side or back of that grill. That's also going to require some, uh, some distance. Depending on the model you have, you refer to your manual for those clearance requirements. Uh, but as far as countertop down, uh, wooden structures or combustible structures, insulated jacket goes in the cutout and then the grill head will actually slide into this. And just that simple. The final panel goes on the other side, same process. Uh, line up the holes. You got to kind of look at underneath this lip for those uh, screw holes to line up. Uh, and then once this is all assembled, like I said, this goes into your cutout, grill goes into that, and you are well protected now from the countertop down. Really, the only thing left to do is go around, check each screw, make sure that they're tightened. You don't want to crank them down. You don't want to over crank them. Uh, use a screwdriver. Do it by hand. Don't use a drill. These, these uh, nut certs, if you're not threaded exactly, sometimes they can strip out. You don't want that. Um, but that's it. Slide it into your island and put it all together and this is what a finished product would look like with a grill and an insulated jacket and a uh, custom build.